a good crowd here at Brands and some of the sport's keenest supporters looking forward to today's final. Right, and so we come to today's final. Down there on the inside of the third row, you can see Trevor Hopkins, who's coming onto the grid just in front of uh, Tony Bardi on the inside of the back row. Tony Bardi, one of the drivers who's really scored well today, and he, along with Mark Rennison, who is sitting on the front row in the centre, those are the two drivers who have now really moved in to chase uh, Trevor Hopkins in the points chart. But whatever Hoppy's result is today, one thing is for certain, he will go away from this meeting still leading the championship. You may wonder why... Uh, 666 Pete Rucroft is not in this, having won a heat, but you can see him with a dead engine on the back of the grid, not taking any part in the proceedings, which are about to get underway. As we can see, Will Gollett making a good run there through, but it's Mark Rennison first. Mark Rennison chased by Demi Mavropoulos as they come up into paddock turn for the first time. John Smith smoking as ever. He's run, going wide, trying to go around the outside of uh, Mavropoulos, but can't do so, and still holding fourth place as they come down into the S's, but it's Mark Rennison leading. Where is Trevor Hopkins? There he is in fifth position, getting ahead of Rob Gibson. Then uh, Trevor Reeves for the Sierra Cosworth, but the leader's up into the Druid's hairpin now for the first time of this three-and-a-half lap race. Rob Gibson ahead of Roger Newbold in the battle for the two-wheel drive honours, but it's the four-wheel drive supercars once again dominating this race, and as they come along with the night beach, it's Mark Rennison and the rest of the field pouring through down towards um, Hoppy Strop goes our leader. There he is, Mark Rennison, number one. Demi Mavropoulos in second place, Will Gollop third. And, of course, this is going to allow Mark Rennison to close up a lot of points on Trevor Hopkins. And Mark Rennison it is with Demi Mavropoulos still there in second place. Will Gollop in third, down through the chicane. And away up to the top of Paddock Turn, they come. Hoppy there, tucked in behind John Smith. Roger Newbold not far away from Rob Gibson, but all of them trailing this man. He goes down into the S's, leading them still, and it's Mark Rennison, the British champion, and of course the reigning Shell Oils series champion, who's out to defend his title here in style this afternoon. But meantime, Rob Gibson comes through as the winner comes, the winner I say, the leader comes away up into and round through its hairpin. We can see Will Gollop trying to come through on the inside of Demi Mavropoulos there, not quite getting away with it. And as they go away, we'll see if we can... Uh, Make contact with Will. Okay, Will, it looked very close there. A tremendous noise inside the car, as you can hear. And I'm sure Will unable to hear us. Meantime, as they go into Hoppy's Drop, he's still there right behind Jimmy Mavropoulos. And that's the way they are as they come off Hoppy's Drop. Still with John Smith and Hopkins in close attention. But it's Mark Rennison who's got the most comfortable position at the moment. Some seven or eight cars lengths clear of Jimmy Mavropoulos. Still, Jimmy still being chased there by the ever-present Will Gollop. Up the hill they go. Rennie's still leading, but Mavropoulos taking a much tighter approach. And it turns again round on Rennison there, and again moving over to the left. Have a look on the inside. No, he hasn't. And it's still Mark Rennison from Demi Mavropoulos. Away round, accelerate up Harewood Hill. And behind Mark Rennison, this terrific scrap goes on. Still headed by Blackbird, Demi Mavropoulos, Will Gollop, John Smith, and championship leader Trevor Hopkins with the Shell Isles RS200 it's Rennie coming away Rennie going away past the finish line here along the top of the night bridge the order up front still the same but still very very close indeed and there we see shots once again from inside Will Gollop's car as Will comes down and we can see now that uh, both him and Jimmy Mavropoulos have really closed in on Mark Rennison as they come down the Cooper Strait for the last time down into the chicane and it's Mark Rennison who's going to close right up on Trevor Hopkins in the championship but Hoppy is still obviously going to lead this run what position he takes no one can overtake him but at the moment no one can over overtake uh, Mark Rennison either Mark's been holding that advantage although Jimmy Mavropoulos right in there Will Gollop also and John Smith and those four cars very very close together and we can see Mark and uh, Demi having a little bit of a door handling match as they go through the S's and Will Gollop coming out of that by far the worst and moving up into Druids then for the last time. Mark Rennison leads. We can see that John Smith has now clawed his way through into third place. Will Gollop down into fourth, but through Langley's gap and Mark Rennison heading towards another 10 points in the championship. And he brings the DSRM RS200 to victory from Dimi Mavropoulos in second. John Smith a good third. Will Gollop fourth. Then comes Trevor Hopkins. But uh, no doubt about who the winner was. It's this young man, 25 years of age from North Yorkshire, British champion and... Uh, Shell Oils champion, Mark Rennison.